Elizabeth Pahoda here with New England Revolution striker Adam Buxa following his return from the World Cup qualifiers with the Poland national team. Adam, congratulations and thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. You earned your first senior cap with the Poland national team. What did it mean to you to wear the Poland crest on that stage? No, I've always dreamt about it, so it was it was a great experience. Uh, uh, the same national team kind of managed to play three games, which is great for me. Uh, we grabbed seven points out of nine, so it's it was a very good result. Uh, so I, I was definitely very happy uh, with that, and uh, hopefully there is more to come. You mentioned that you had three appearances. You earned two starts and scored four goals in that span. What allowed you to be so dangerous with Poland? Uh, I think if you have great players around you, that helps you. Uh, I've received uh, great, great passes that I converted. So uh, that was the main point. And uh, I don't know what, uh, what, what else to add. I just had a good time there. I was very motivated, focused, and it uh, turned out to be a really good three games. It really showed on the field too. You notched a hat trick in Poland 7-1 win over San Marino. What were your emotions following that game? Uh, I was simply very happy. I took the ball uh, home with, with, with all the signatures of, of, of all players uh, that took part in this game. You know, uh, the, the, always the first and, and most important thing is to, to grab all three points. Uh, the game against San Marino uh, usually consists of many goals that we score because uh, this is a national team that usually loses games with, uh, with, with, with many goals conceded. Uh, this time we managed to score seven goals. I was uh, definitely happy to, to score three of them. And uh, that was like a warm up before the main, main part, which was a game against England. You mentioned keeping the ball as a special memento. Where do you have that stored? For now, I think it's, uh, it's in Warsaw, in my sister's uh, house. But uh, I, have to, I have to do some here with it and, and organize some space in my, in my apartment, either in the United States or in Poland, where it will have its special place, spot in, the, in, my, in my apartment. That'll be really nice for you to hold on to for years to come. As you return from playing with Poland for the national team, how will that help your game here with the revolution? First of all, I feel really well to be back in the United States, healthy and, and ready to play. Uh, I don't see any difference uh, between playing for the national team and the club in terms of my focus, mm -hmm. awareness and, and preparation for the game. So uh, nothing changes in my attitude. I just uh, focus on every upcoming game and does it uh, depend on if it's the, uh, the game for the national team or the club. I just don't want to uh, focus on, on every different game in a different way. I just, I just have my own base that I, that I have and, and uh, I, I, I work on, uh, on several things every day and uh, nothing changes in my attitude. As you left Poland, what was the message ahead of another group of World Cup qualifiers in October? Time flies, you know, and uh, there's not too many games left before the next national team camp. For now, uh, I don't really think about that because we have three important games uh, for the revolution and then that's where my focus goes. Uh, I'm not sure where the next uh, list will be announced, uh, so we'll, we'll see in the future what the time brings. Adam, we look forward to seeing your continued success with Poland and the revolution. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, appreciate it.